ಶ್ರೀಗುರೋಷ್ಣವಾಂಶೀರೂಪಾಗ್ರಜಾತೀವಂಶೀವಂಸಾಧ್ವೈತಂಸಾವೂತಂಪರಿಜನಸಹಿ
know Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was not in a plan to take everybody. So he wanted to take only certain few people who are uh, completely renunciants and who are you know, constant companions of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So all the Grahastha devotees had to stay back. You know? <laughs> only the sannyasis would, uh, you know, sannyasis and brahmacharis would go with him. And uh, the devotees replied, no, it is very, very uh, difficult to bear the separation. And also, it is not a very good situation at this point in time. The Bengal was ruled by the uh, Muslims and uh, Odisha was ruled by Prataputra Maharaj, Vaishnava. So, there is a tension in the border. You know, India, Pakistan, Chalrata. <laughs> so, there is a tension in the border and it is, uh, you know, it is not at all a good time you know, for us to cross the, uh, this one. So, there is uh, infested with blood, bloodthirsty fighters. You know, anybody crosses that place, they will be killed. You know, so, then uh, for this, Chaitanya Mahapur replied, let there be any danger of any magnitude. You know, so, like I am not going to stay back. I want to meet Lord Jagannath, right? So, if there is any tension, you know, like this is there, we will say like, Yatra postpone karenge, <laughs> no? <laughs> so, we will not, even Corona also comes like, no, we will say like, Yatra postpone karenge. <laughs> so, but here, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, no, let whatever may happen. So, this goes to say that the life's purpose is to attain Krishna. So, if we cannot attain Krishna, what's the point of living, no? And then um, Advaita Acharya, you know, understanding mood of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is telling that, uh, you know, you are the Supreme Lord himself. Who can actually put any impediment on your path? You know, what impediments can come? You know, whether uh, favorable situation or unfavorable situation, all of them are just your servants and they will have to bend to your will. You know? So, that is what is um, Advaita Acharya is mentioning. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he heard this, I uh, know he was very happy you not know, to hear uh, this thing and immediately he chanted Hari Hari and he started you no know, leaving. So like not months to go with preparation, no teen mine pele ticket book karna and things like that. One minute plan and then no pack up and <laughs> nothing to pack up also. <laughs> Just walk <laughs> no walk towards uh, Jagannath Puri. Right? So and it is mentioned, often it is mentioned that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's walk you no know, or his gate was like a, a lion, no? So, how a lion would walk? How many of you have seen how a lion would walk? <laughs> if you would have seen, you will not be sitting here. <laughs> so, maybe in the circus and things like that or maybe in the zoo. So, but they are not fed very well in the zoo. <laughs> so, then, uh, so devotees also were feeling very, very uh, you know, feeling the separation from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and uh, they also were following behind and uh, you know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was speaking to them very softly that do not you know, feel pain that this separation so I am just going there to take darshan of Lord Jagannath and I will come back very soon you know, meanwhile you keep chanting and you will not feel you, know, you will not feel the pain of my separation so then um, the, the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu embraced all Vaishnavas individually and then gave them assurance that I will come back very soon. And then all the Vaishnavas, they were also you know, crying a lot, you know, feeling the separation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now it is mentioned here that scene was the similar, it was similar to the scene of um, Krishna leaving from Vrindavan. So when Krishna was leaving from Vrindavan, Akrura had come you know, to take away Krishna to Mathura, you know, on the order of Kamsa and uh, all the devotees, you know, when they got to know, all the gopis, when they got to know, so this Akrura has come for this purpose, so they started criticizing every possible person, you know, so like, uh, they started criticizing his name also. Akrura means what? And not cruel. So, then they were telling that, no, this is like a false name, you no, know, this guy, uh, what is this non-cruel? This is the most cruel person. He is just simply taking our life off you know, from Vrindavan. So, in this way, like uh, the similar kind of a situation was happening you know, for the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. And it is uh, you know, Vrindavan Das Thakur, the author of Chaitanya Bhagavat, you know, he makes a note that uh, the pastimes of Krishna and pastimes of Lord Chaitanya 
they are not different no only the this one in past tense of krishna because krishna was the only male and everybody else were female <laughs> and in past tense of lord chaitanya so all of them all the female associates of krishna so they also appeared as the male devotees no that is why for kali yuga no chaitanya leela is very good <laughs> so in fact it is mentioned the acharyas mentioned that so one who uh, serves chaitanya mahaprabhu in the dasya mood so he will attain the like uh, what is that madhurya or the conjugal mood no of affection towards krishna so like being a servant of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and pushing on the sankirtan mission and uh, no doing book distribution and no doing uh, harinam sankirtan and things like that so one will actually develop no the krishna prem and actually develop the uh, mood of the gopis in vrindavan so and in fact you know we all have studied that uh, you know the uh, gaudiya math logo which bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur personally designed so in that he puts the raga marga sadhana as you no know, study of shrimad bhagavatam you no know, chanting and you no know, performing kirtan with mridanga and kartal and then uh, distribution of you no know, books so this is the way of uh, you no know, developing intense attachment to krishna and uh, um, it is mentioned one should always remember that matter of life and death is entirely in the hands of supreme lord krishna he decides if one should live even after consuming poison and he decides one should die even after drinking nectar of immortality you know very powerful statements so then the journey towards you no know, jagannath puri is uh, started so then um, suddenly like um, okay so the people accompany him are accompanying lord chaitanya are nityananda prabhu gadadhar pandit mukunda govinda and jagadananda pandit and brahmananda so so these are all the personalities who are going with lord chaitanya and suddenly lord chaitanya stops and then he asks no did you people take anything with you and come no so then uh, they all told no without your permission what will we take no <laughs> we have not taken anything no and chaitanya mahaprabhu becomes very happy no luggage nahi uthaya like it. <laughs> there is no clothes and things like that so no uh, bag nothing no kali hath aise nikal gaye bhagwan nikal gaye to ye log bhi nikal gaye so jarni prasad was not organized <laughs> and nothing was organized so they just simply came and then so lord is uh, now telling he is telling uh, the import of this very simple question that he asked so he is uh, telling that you have made me uh, you have made me very happy by not bringing anything with you no everything whatever we are supposed to enjoy the supreme lord will you no know, based on the destiny he will send if we want to eat you no know, then he will uh, if you have to eat you no know, he will send the food and even if you are a prince even if you are a very you know royal person so you have the food in the plate and then you have taken already in your hand but still it will not reach your mouth you know? <laughs> suddenly you will pick up some quarrel with somebody and then when i come <laughs> and then you no know, maybe some fever will come and then no you will not be able to eat right so in this way you no know, the situation is entirely under the you no know, krishna's hand and this whole world is nothing but krishna storehouse and uh, unlimited uh, what is that uh, uh, supply is there in this krishna storehouse and uh, if krishna wants no like he can supply it anywhere and everywhere right so we should have this complete faith so lord chaitanya mahaprabhu newly no he is uh, sanyas shiromani no he is newly taken sanyas and he is instructing all other no his followers on the tenets of uh, the renounced ashram so in the renounced ashram one should have as less possession as possible and then um, he should simply have faith on the lord and then depend on the lord you no know, dependence on the lord is the most important thing you now for a grahastha the uh, principle is that use the sense objects in the service of the lord you no know? uh, use the sense objects in a regulated way in the service of the lord but for a renunciant giving up sense objects is the you no know, principle actually so that is chaitanya mahaprabhu is uh, you no know, teaching this principle to his devotees and then they were um, you no know, passing in this way to uh, village by village and they were uh, having kirtans and they were having krishna katha and uh, at some point in time they reached a village called atishara 
and uh, there they actually went to a house of ananta pandit no so like this ananta pandit is glorified that you know he is so fortunate a person that uh, the supreme lord you know personally went to his house and he stayed and he was you no know, he was a very very saintly soul and very nice brahmana and um, you know he was very very jubilant to receive such an unexpected guest and uh, the supreme lord the lord of vaikuntha you no know, he became the guest you no know. people say atithi devo bhava and here <laughs> the supreme lord himself has come as atithi right so and it is all the more very very nice and uh, he immediately you no know, started uh, preparing nice food stuffs you no know, for the lord and uh, he honored the guest and then he made them sit and uh, he fed them prasadam and uh, in this way like uh, no shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was instructing his um, no all his followers on the sanyas dharma so just carefree you just go you no know, simply keep chanting and things like that and um, you know sometimes this question may come okay like you know during that time it was a vedic time you know there were so many brahmanas were there pure souls were there तो किधर भी जाएंगे नो प्रसाद मिल जाएगा तो अभी तो लाइक कलयुग में सब <laughs> इतना खराब चल रहा है सो नो इफ वी गो टू अ प्लेस विदाउट अरेंजमेंट ऑफ प्रसादम एंड देर नो डिवोटिस हाउ विल वी ईट प्रसादम यू नो हमारे पास कुकिंग का साधन नहीं है एंड देन देर इज नो ग्रॉसरी स्टॉक एंड नो सडनली लाइक नो यू गो टू सम प्लेस नो हाउ विल यू ईट नो हाउ विल यू ईट First of all, you are all not sannyasis, so you can arrange for prasad. <laughs> so, in case, imagine that you are a sannyasi. So, how will you eat? <laughs> without, without any, no, this one that you have gone. And if you get madhukari, it will be all, no, food prepared by non-devotees. No, can you eat food prepared by non-devotees? No, it is not possible. So then, um, so in some time, Chaitanya Mahapu will. Uh, showcase now how is going to you know do that we will see in some time so now um, he was passing by in this way and uh, after spending a night in ananta pandit's house uh, so he wanted to depart and then he blessed him by his wonderful glance and then he departed and whenever he was going around you no know, whenever he was moving you no know, his preaching program is very very simple you no know, simply keep chanting and because of his intense chanting and intense mood anybody who would see him you no know, they would get you no know, simply get affected so once they would see chaitanya mahaprabhu they would not be able to take their eyes from him you no know? so they would uh, constantly you no know, they would all follow him for some distance and um, you no know, it is mentioned that even great yogis you no know, they would perform so much of tapasya to have the darshan of the lord but here ordinary people no they are getting darshan of chaitanya mahaprabhu no and um, so in this way they were passing by and they were going by the path of no ganga devi and uh, on the on the way no they reached a place called chatraboga and in the place there is a nice ghat is there called ambulinga ghat no ambu means what is the meaning of ambu huh? water ambu means water ambudi means ha huh, ambudi means that which gives water tap also is ambudi <laughs> no which gives water <laughs> so like uh, no so here we see that uh, no ambuda is no that which gives water ambudi is uh, i think ocean mm, ocean so like that so now here we see that uh, this ambulinga ghat no they come to and there uh, it is mentioned that lord shiva is present in the form of water you know so like we all know the past time of how ganga devi actually came to this earth um, so bahirat maharaj because of his four fathers you know they were uh, uh, they were burned you know to ashes you know by the uh, uh, anger of uh, kapila dev you know and uh, you know to deliver the four fathers you know he was you know trying to get the Uh, ganga and he you know worshiped lord shiva and he pleased him and then he um, like uh, bagirath maharaj no so yeah so he pleased and then he um, no took permission of lord shiva to no get the ganga no down to this earth and when ganga devi came to this earth at that time lord shiva was feeling no lot of separation from her 
and uh, lord shiva actually came down you know to meet ganga and then he came to this particular place and uh, you know he uh, out of feeling deep affection for ganga devi he also melted down in the form of water and then he you no know, he is present over there and uh, it is mentioned that vaishnava nam eta shambhu so like lord shiva is the greatest of all vaishnavas and he is the greatest of persons who has krishna prem and uh, you no know, this place you no know, when um, chaitanya mahaprabhu when he came to this place he felt great jubilation you no know, to see this place and then he was chanting and dancing in that place and then he jumped into that waters you no know, to take you no know, bath it is mentioned that uh, just in the beginning of this ambulinga ghat ganga devi actually splits herself into 100 streams and after chaitanya mahaprabhu took bath and came out no it was looking like he was also having 100 streams coming from his ears no sorry coming from his eyes so he was crying so much in um, you no know, krishna prem and when devotees saw this you no know, they became completely astonished and at that time there is one landlord you no know, called ramachandra khan this is different ramachandra khan so this is devotee ramachandra and there is another non devotee ramachandra khan comes in like chaitanya charitamrit so he is supposed to be the landlord of the entire south province of uh, you know the bengal and uh, you know he is coming there in a palanquin and uh, you know when he sees chaitanya mahaprabhu in this state he was completely you no know, his usko fuse ud gaya <laughs> so like usko dekh ke so then um, he get the he got down and he fell at lord's feet but you no know, lord chaitanya is completely immersed in the krishna prem he is not even able to understand you no know, who is coming who is going and things like that and he is constantly chanting oh jagannath oh jagannath you no know, when will i meet you <laughs> so ramachandra khan was extremely moved to see you know this intense devotional mood of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and then he is trying to see like no kaisa is corona band karenge <laughs> and you know he is seeing that there is no way that this person can be stopped you no know, from crying and or try karke try karke oh khud hi rone lag gaya you know so ram sundar khan himself started you know uh, crying and then um, after some time like lord came to the external consciousness and he asked who are you, you know so then ramachandra told like uh, you no know, he was he was very silent but then all the other devotees you no know, they told you no know, this guy is the landlord in the south region of bengal and then uh, when mahaprabhu got to know that he immediately told oh you are the landlord so you should try to help me to cross this place and to meet jagannath so the moment he uh, spoke about you no know, jagannath and nilachal and things like that so immediately he again got overtook by a you no know, divine ecstasy and he again started crying and things like that so this is the state of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he was constantly in remembrance of the lord and he was constantly contemplating you know how to go to jagannath puri how to meet jagannath <coughs> so ramachandra you no know, he told that uh, whatever you order that is my prime duty so but then i should also inform you that border mein tension chal raha hai you know the border is like heavily infested with uh, so many uh, uh, so many dangers you no know, he is telling that the inimical kings you no know, they have kept uh, the swords and spears and things like that in hidden way so anybody would go there you no know, they may step on you no know, something and then if they fall they will be cut you no know, like that you no know, the uh, weapons are placed in in the border in that way so it is very very difficult you no know, even if an innocent traveler you no know, he is going by the border so if uh, these soldiers they capture them they will torture them they will beat them and they will kill them you no know? so that is the scene that is happening in the border so it is very very difficult to cross but then you no know, seeing chaitanya mahaprabhu in that state you no know, of uh, experiencing this deep ecstasy so this ramachandra like he determined that whatever this person says i have to do it you no know, he was determined like that so and uh, i will have to arrange a secret way to you no know, cross you and by doing this i am putting myself in a great danger so but whatever may be like you no know, i have to execute your order so but if i have to do that you have to give me one price no you have to pay me something no what is that payment ha huh? so he is telling that you and your associates what you should do 
you should come home and have prasadam <laughs> that is that is a constant this one that everybody in the this one na like uh, they would see chaitanya mahaprabhu and they would feel you no know, so much touched by his association so immediately they would extend invitation you know to kaane ka kuch tension hi nahi hota hai but then ye to like he is he is a non devotee right like you know he was uh, okay you know in the beginning discussion it is mentioned that he is a landlord and he is a materialist he is a pakka materialist yeah? so now how is that lord chaitanya agreed to go to his house ha huh? how did he agree to go to his house ha huh? so after meeting mahaprabhu he was converted <laughs> one meeting like you know he is like fully purified and then you no know, he can cook and mahaprabhu will take <laughs> no prasadam from him so it is mentioned that uh, when he extended this invitation no he is telling that you people just come to my home and honor no like you know, accept food from my home so then i will make sure that at any cost you will cross the border tonight you know so then uh, so mahaprabhu told okay fine it's such a deal such <laughs> a deal mil raha so then uh, we should accept so then immediately mahaprabhu glanced at this person and he was completely purified right so our problem is if we glance nobody gets purified <laughs> so like uh, no here mahaprabhu did not have much problem no anybody he wants he can glance at them he, they become purified and they can cook and give prasadam to him <laughs> so and in this way like mahaprabhu proceeded to his residence and this uh, person ramachandra he pin, he himself personally cooked you no know, wonderful foodstuffs for the lord and you no know, he fed them and uh, you no know, it is mentioned constantly like wherever they would have prasadam so mahaprabhu used to eat very little you no know? and his primary nourishment is coming from his intense mood of separation from lord jagannath and he was for the matter of like uh, you no know, accepting the hospitality of the guest you no know, of, of the host so he would eat a little bit so then um, it is mentioned about lord chaitanya's internal mood you no know, he was constantly feeling separation from jagannath and day and night land or water you no know, whatever may be it is just like you no know, koi you no know, hallucination mein hai no as i like kuch faded image you no know, chal raha so like that everything is like a faded image in front of him he is constantly like thinking of lord jagannath when he is constantly thinking when he will be able to take darshan of jagannath right so in this way like uh, you no know, uh, it is quite difficult to predict you know what chaitanya mahaprabhu will do so feeling this intense separation so then uh, um so the lord he sat with nityananda prabhu and other devotees and he took a little bit of prasad and then immediately after that you no know, he started asking how far is jagannath puri how far is jagannath swami you no know, how will i go there how will i meet him and things like that so when he was asking such questions the reply is devotee start no start kirtan no he is a question to reply nahi kar sakta <laughs> so even if you whatever you reply you no know, it is going to create some adverse effect so better to start kirtan you no know? and they would start kirtan and mukunda started singing very sweetly and all other devotees also joined the kirtan and chaitanya mahaprabhu started dancing and uh, this dance of ecstatic uh, kirtan you no know, it kept on going 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 and then you no know, chaitanya mahaprabhu was you no know, displaying very amazing transformations and um, sometimes he would cry and sometimes he would uh, you no know, roar like anything so and sometimes he would uh, become statue you no know, stunned like a statue and tears you no know, would flow like ganga you no know, and uh, all these things were happening and the time passed like they started in the evening and whole night you no know, the kirtan went on and this ramachandra like you no know, he has already arranged the way to cross you no know, he has arranged you no know, koi boatman leke nahi ja raha tha no ganga cross karke so but then with great difficulty like you no know, he arranged a boatman and then he is waiting kab kirtan khatam hoga <laughs> no i will tell mahapu you no know, you can go <laughs> so but then kirtan khatam hi nahi ho raha and it was keep on going and then at you now krishna's will you no know, at one point in time the kirtan ended and ramachandra like he told that you no know, now the boat is ready you no know, you can cross so then uh, the lord immediately got up and went to the river bank and uh, he you know glanced upon this ramachandra again to bless him and then he boarded the boat and uh, he bade farewell to everybody and then you no know, they were started you no know, going 
and immediately after boarding the boat so mahaprabhu told mukunda like start singing and then no they started singing nicely and then the boatman he is a very simple villager and he told no mera jeevan katra mein hai <laughs> no, kripa karke ek kirtan band kijiye <laughs> border mein already tension hai you know so there are so many soldiers are there no they would kill and this place is fully infested with tigers and the water is fully infested with deadly crocodiles no ye sab pura katra hai you know so kitna bhi denge like no ye boat journey i would never accept but these people zabardasti ghusa diye zamindar ko na bhi nahi bol sakte udhar na bolenge to udhar marenge aap logon ko leke aake idhar marenge so aaj to main marne wala hu you know ye kirtan band kijiye thoda so then like so the devotees also felt concerned you know ye bichara like mar jayega <laughs> no and then they also stop and after some time mahaprabhu comes to external consciousness and says kirtan kyu band kiya are no band nahi karenge to woh chilla raha hai band karenge to ye chilla raha hai lekin so it is very difficult situation and then mahaprabhu is telling that don't you see sudarshan chakra is personally protecting us anywhere the devotees are there and they are performing kirtan no sudarshan chakra personally protects them no why do you people no fear like this no are you not devotees are you not having no faith in the protection of the lord so you know immediately start singing and then devotees start singing again no and um, no this is like very amazing that we have seen this in uh, no multiple stories uh, with devotees as well that uh, you know one story i heard that in russia you no know, like uh, that time during the kgb time where any devotees you know if they would uh, caught if they are caught distributing books or uh, meeting anywhere and you no know, doing sankirtan and things like that they will be caught and killed you no know, they will be put in uh, jail and things like that so there was one program so like in this programs they used to have secret code you no know? like if program is happening here so then the devotees would have in two three strategic positions they will be there and to enter here there is a pass code is there you no know? like they would uh, go to the first person they will tell something and they will he will tell how to go to the second person and they will tell something and then you no know, they will be uh, allowed inside the pro- this one inside the program and once kgb guy he got to know this pass codes and uh, you no know, this is secret agent you no know? like uh, he uh, went inside the Uh, this one hall where the program was going on and these people were doing nice kirtan and things like that and this guy came out and uh, like you no know, people got to know like devotees also got to know he is a secret agent and then uh, he came inside and he saw for some time and he went out and then uh, like after some time somebody asked like you no know, who are you like you no know, why did you came here and things like that so then he told like no i am a secret agent i you no know, i got some news that here some you know some kind of satsang program is happening तो मैंने जाके देखा कुछ नहीं हो रहा है नो एक्चुअली उधर कीर्तन चल रहा था सो बट उसको कुछ दिखा नहीं सो दैट इज दिस वन दैट नो समाइम्स द डिवोटीज नो दे आर प्रोटेक्टेड एंड समटाइम्स नो द लॉर्ड चूज टू नो पुट देम टू ट्रिबुलेशन बट देन नो एट द एंड नो द डिवोटी इज ऑलवेज प्रोटेक्टेड सो द डिवोटीज डिवोशन इज ऑलवेज प्रोटेक्टेड राइट सो like uh, in this way you no know, shri chaitanya mahaprabhu was constantly instructing his followers about how to execute you no know, the devotional service so then devotees performed kirtan the entire way and somehow or other the boat safely reached the border of orissa and um, so it is mentioned that anybody who hears this narration of how shri chaitanya mahaprabhu entered into orissa you no know, so they would no definitely get krishna prem no so that is mentioned here so then um, the lord was extremely joyful to set his foot on uh, the soil of orissa and uh, no he considered the whole of utkala land no utkala this place is also called as utkala so he considered this whole place a very great uh, place of uh, punya kshetra so like uh, they reached the place in the place called ganga ghat and uh, no the moment he entered inside so immediately he offered obeisances to the whole land of orissa you no know? and then you now there was a shivalinga deity you no know, called mahesha so that was established by yudhishthir maharaj so lord chaitanya went there and then he offered his obeisances and then 
he worshipped you know, that deity over there. And then he asked all the devotees to wait. And uh, he personally went door to door to beg for alms. So when he went there, like everybody, you know, when they saw such a glorious personality at their doorstep, so if Chaitanya Mahaprabhu were to come to your home begging, you know, what will you give? So you will give the best of the things, right? So whatever you have, the best of the things. So it is mentioned that uh, Lakshmi Devi is one of the forms of Lakshmi Devi is Annapurna. You know? And she is the source of all the food. And she is just a maid servant of the Supreme Lord. And that Supreme Lord is now going <coughs> now house to house to beg for arms. You know? So this is not because of you know, why this description is given. It is not because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in need of food. No. So Mahaprabhu is going house to house just to give good fortune to the people. Right? So um, the Lord was feeling, um, you know, after some time of begging, the Lord was feeling content. And then you know, he, was, um, he returned to the devotees. He returned to the devotees and uh, he gave all that is collected on the day and all the devotees saw the collection of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they told that no you are really our maintainer no you can maintain everybody no so like that and in that place no uh, Jagadan, Jagadananda Pandit no he gladly prepared a very wonderful feast and all the devotees sat together and had prasadam and whole night no they would have kirtan no so they whole day they would travel no, towards the evening, somewhere, no, they would get an invitation for prasadam, or they would uh, beg and no prepare some no prasadam. They would have, and then whole night they would uh, chant no uh, kirtan, and again in the daytime, so they would get up and they would start and no do nagars and kirtan. No, so this is their whole this one. So this is why it is mentioned that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, no, he is the uh, person who came to uh, inaugurate the sankirtan mission. No? And he came to, like the Yuga Dharma is Sankirtan and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally demonstrated how to perform this Yuga Dharma. Now constantly chanting the names of Krishna. Right? So they all started walking towards Puri and after some time they came to a place where there was a tax collector you know, who was guarding the path and he told that without paying tax none of you can go. So but then when he saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in that ecstatic mood like no, he was fully absorbed in Krishna frame and he was constantly crying. So then he saw that like, you know, you can go, but uh, all these people, are they with you? So are, are there anybody with you? So then mm. Mahaprabhu is already feeling separation from Jagannath and he's telling, no, like nobody is there with me. I'm all alone. <laughs> I'm separated from my Lord. <laughs> so okay, okay, like no, tum jao. <laughs> so karke usko Mahaprabhu ko bez diye. So all other people were detained and they were told like, no, if you don't pay the tax, I will not allow. And from the beginning only like Mahaprabhu told, what Mahaprabhu told? Don't carry, don't carry anything. No, you people should not carry anything. Ek paisa bhi nahi hai hai. <laughs> so like, you know, how will they go? <laughs> no, it is very difficult. So then, um, so like all the, all the devotees, they felt despondent and you no. Know, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, okay, fine, no, usko chutti mil gaya. <laughs> like, no, he started moving and all other devotees are you know, left back. So then um, the devotees were, you know, sometimes, you know, they were seeing the detachment of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they were, you know, like any of the opulences of the Lord, when the devotees see, they feel very happy. You no, know, they saw the detachment of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they felt happy and then, you no, know, they they were detained and they were not allowed to go with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they were crying, you know. So like uh, seeing all these things, you know, Nityananda Prabhu told, Are, don't worry, Mahaprabhu will not leave us and go, so don't worry. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went a little distance and then he was, you know, feeling separation from Jagannath and he was, uh, he sat down chanting the names of Krishna and he was shedding such amount of tears and this tax collector he saw, and you know, ye to humanly impossible. If the water is out, it will die of dehydration. So, it is non-stop. Like, you know, they will see that we will give our water supply ka connection de in Bangalore. Mein. <laughs> so, it was simply like that. In some places, it is mentioned, it was like a syringe. No, when we cry, you no know, tears will come down like this. No, When Mahaprabhu used to cry, the opposite person's shirt will get no wet. No? 
so that is the uh, this one uh, force with which the tears would come and anybody would see this you know they will go mad like you know ye to manushya ki kaun hai like <laughs> and things like that so looking at that you know this tax collector again turned to the devotees ye banda kaun hai no aap log inke sath mein hai kya no ye kya kar raha hai like no thoda bataiye like no ye kaun hai so then um, they were also like uh, they were telling see ye hamara swami hai no like humko chhod ke chale gaye so like uh, so he is our master and then no we are his servitors so we are no we know how to take care of him and then they were also in deep tears no the devotees of chaitanya mahaprabhu also were in deep tears and uh, seeing all this thing this tax collector also started crying to hamara bhagwan aisa hai like no kud rote hai dusro ko bhi rulata hai no so this is and then immediately like uh, he the tax collector you no know, he went and fell at the feet of chaitanya mahaprabhu and uh, he told that i am greatly fortunate you no know, kis janam ka punya hai like you no know, i am able to see you you no know, please forgive my offenses and please uh, accept my respect and uh, you no know, i wish that you no know, you soon reach nilachal jagannath puri and when chaitanya mahaprabhu heard that uh, you no know, this guy is wishing me to go to jagannath puri immediately he felt very happy and he you no know, gave blessings to this person by a wonderful glance and then he chanted the holy name and he started you no know, moving from that place so it is mentioned that like any person who would come and get the audience of chaitanya mahaprabhu he be a sinful person or he be a pious person whatever may be his condition you no know, everybody would get transformed you no know, by seeing shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and um, you no know, <clears throat> it is mentioned that chaitanya's lord chaitanya's name is so potent that even even demons have a change of heart by chanting the name you no know? and it is like uh, uh, anybody like who are meeting chaitanya mahaprabhu in that path everybody were turned into devotees you know and um, it is a constant phenomena so wherever you no know, chaitanya mahaprabhu would go anybody would look at him so they would transform into devotees and a few days later later you no know, they Um, arrived at a river called suvarna reka so they took their bath over there and then uh, like uh, they moved on and samo nityananda prabhu and jagadananda pandit so they actually fell back you no know, like uh, uh, this is now they are going to describe a very very wonderful glories of nityananda prabhu you no know, because after this they are going to describe uh, you know some past time of nityananda prabhu where he really did a big miss you no know? and chaitanya mahaprabhu was angry at nityananda prabhu so i was so amazed you know in the way like uh, you know uh, vrindavan das thakur has arranged the past time he glorifies nityananda prabhu and then he puts the past time of chaitanya mahaprabhu becoming angry at nityananda prabhu and then again you no know, glory of nityananda prabhu is mentioned you no know, so that nobody will mistake you no know, or nobody will take that uh, okay nityananda prabhu is doing some things which are uh, making chaitanya mahaprabhu angry you no know. so like uh, it is mentioned that you no know, nitananda prabhu whenever he sees a water body he would jump inside that and he will keep on swimming in that you no know? he will he will not come out only you no know? so and nobody knows like why he is doing like this you no know, it is because of his intense attachment to chaitanya mahaprabhu he was uh, he was so much immersed in you no know, love for shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he would do weird things that nobody can understand actually so uh, like it is he would he is always intoxicated and he is very very mad in love for krishna love for chaitanya mahaprabhu and um, he would suddenly roar like you no know, thunderbolt and he would suddenly start rolling in the uh, ground and uh, he sometimes covers his body with dust and then when he is in you no know, deep ecstasy in the chanting so he would fall you no know, dud karke you no know, crash hote hain like ground mein and uh, if anybody would see that they would think that you no know, all his bones will be broken no like uh, that is the way you no know, he would actually fall to the ground and um, uh, when he would dance and when he would fall like this it would appear that bhukamp aa gaya you no know, like everything would shake so this is the unnatural power of uh, you no know, like uh, unimaginable power of uh, shri nityananda prabhu and it is like quite natural for him and uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu constantly resides in the heart of shri nityananda prabhu so one day what happened jagadananda pandit you no know, he had to go to beg for some food stuffs and uh, no food grains and then he would cook you no know, he is the cook of the team whole team 
and um, so when he wanted to go so chakra mahapu had given the danda to jagadananda pandit to take care so jagadananda what he did he told nitananda prabhu you take care of this danda i have to go and get some you know food grains for cooking and nitananda prabhu took the danda and he was he started speaking to the danda so you see that like i am the servant of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu like all of us are servant of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu and we are all serving him and this danda like he is telling no you are just a bamboo stick and my lord is serving you no he is taking care of you he is like you know carrying you and going and things like that how dare you no know, you receive service from my lord no dard karke na usko niche fekte aur danda teen baag mein break ho jata hai no so then uh, after that like jagadananda after collecting arms he is coming back nitananda prabhu is sitting and you no know, danda teen tukda okay niche gira hua hai so so then uh, he is asking that jagadananda is asking nitananda prabhu नो किसने तोड़ा इसको नो सो लाइक जिस भगवान ने इसको नो बनाया वही तोड़ा है तो ऐसा ऐसा रिप्लाई आया तो लाइक नो क्या करेगा सो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू आर्ग्यू विद नितिनंद प्रभु सो ही टुक द थ्री पीसेस एंड ही केप्ट इट इन फ्रंट ऑफ चैतन्य महापु एंड चैतन्य महापु बिकम एंग्री अरे किसने तोड़ा इसको नो सो तुम्हारा नितिनंद प्रभु ने तोड़ा है लाइक नो सो देन इमिडिएटली चैतन्य महापु बिकम एंग्री एंड देन he called nitananda prabhu why did you do like this this danda is my only possession and you broke this no why did you do like this and then uh, nitananda prabhu is telling it is just a bamboo stick no if i break a bamboo stick you will become so angry no you cannot forgive me for this also so then like chaitanya mahaprabhu says are ye danda is the place a sanyasi's danda is the place of residence of all the devatas it is such a holy place no it's considered to be such a holy thing and you are telling that it is just a bamboo stick no like kyu aisa kar rahe like uh, so then um, um, chaitanya mahaprabhu became very angry and then he leaves the place and he goes no all other people are left uh, left alone no and then um, um, so ha huh, actually mahaprabhu is telling that aage se like no hum log saath mein nahi jayenge so if you want to go you people go fr- friend or no i will go friend so then mukunda says you only go friend no so as a mahaprabhu starts no going so then uh, soon the lord arrived at jaleshwar no karke ek village mein no he comes and there in that uh, village there is a wonderful deity of lord shiva and that village itself is like such an amazing scenic place so much of natural scenery and so much wonderful no place it is and um, no there the local brahmanas no they had decorated this uh, lord shiva's deity very wonderfully and they were all doing amazing uh, some musical this one uh, nice musical concert no glorifying lord shiva and when uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu went there no seeing all the scenery and seeing uh, the wonderful music no his anger got subsided and he started dancing and seeing the dancing of chaitanya mahaprabhu they increased their musical performance and then mahaprabhu also started dancing more no jubilantly and then aisa like no ja raha tha like no mahaprabhu is dancing more and they are singing more and no aisa hi like no pura it was going on and the lord danced and danced and then no these people also were uh, not able to understand ki no ye vyakti kaun hai itna acha dance kar rahe hain itna acha uska aakar no it is like so wonderful and um, they were also captivated by you no know, seeing that and slowly in short time the devotees also arrived you no know, they were sent back right so they also arrived and the devotees started also dancing and singing and when they started dancing and singing the whole kirtan went to a different level and then after a while the lord became peaceful and he embraced all the devotees and he told to nitananda prabhu you see no like you are supposed to keep me and protect no protect me no rather than protecting me you are making me angry no why are you doing all these things no you are my life and soul no you should never do all these things no you should uh, you should always try to protect me i am completely dependent upon you so in this way like uh, no lord chaitanya is mentioning and then lord chaitanya is telling that so whatever nityananda prabhu does nobody should consider that to be an offense no if somebody commits an offense against nityananda prabhu he will be completely vanquished no they can be my devotee but then if he commits an offense to nityananda so then they will be completely rejected by me and they will not no uh, they will not get the mercy of krishna at any time so hearing his own glories nityananda prabhu became little bit ashamed and no he is uh, feeling shy 
so they passed the night at jaleshwar and early in the morning you no know, they started to uh, go uh, proceed towards jagannath puri and when they started their journey there was uh, a shakta sanyasi you no know, who is a shakta ah uh, so who worship shakti you no know, is called shakta you no know, there are different levels of worshipers you no know, of the supreme lord are there so like uh, the non worshipers are the materialists you no know, the scientists you no know, for example if you see like you no know, they try to manipulate the material nature so the next little advanced people are the shaktas shaktas they consider the material nature you no know, this is difficult to overcome you no know, like mama maya durate they understand that this material nature is very very powerful and they worship the material nature you no know. the materialists they try to utilize the material nature and uh, the shaktas they try to worship the material nature and then the next level is called <coughs> the uh, what is that uh, ganapatyas uh, no they the next level is called as uh, yeah shaura shaurastra and uh, the worshipers of sun and the next level is called the ganapatyas the worshipers of ganapati and the next level is called the worshipers of lord shiva you no know, shaivas and then the next level is called the worshipers of lord vishnu you no know? so vaishnavas so this is like uh, worshiping the energy and uh, worshiping a small controller of energy and worshiping a greater controller of energy like that the greatest control of all the energy that is there is the supreme lord krishna so because uh, everything is you no know, his part and parcel right so here we see that the shakta you no know, person you no know, like a shakta sanyasi you no know, like uh, shakta sanyasis are very uh, unique you no know? so like uh, mahaprabhu sees this shakta sanyasi and uh, he speaks as if like he knows him from long time are my dear friend like you know where have you gone no we have not met since long time and the sanyasi is also thinking probably like maybe you no know, we are friends we don't know <laughs> so like uh, and he tells okay okay like no please come to my ashram no like uh, i am very very happy to meet all of you like no please come to my ashram no we will take something very wonderful like no we will take a, what is it ananda pan no so like blissful drink we will take no and then uh, so like uh, this is the code word no before itself chaitanya mahapu and nitinand pu knows this so like uh, no one time back in uh, when they were in uh, what is that uh, bengal so that time no once uh, they were trying to go to uh, meet advaita acharya no advaita acharya started speaking mayavad philosophy so that time no both nitinand pu and chaitanya mahapu wanted to go and attack him so like uh, so that time so on the way they rested in one shakta sanyasi ashram and uh, in the shak- in the sanyasi ashram he had a wife also you know <laughs> and he had some <laughs> like and mahapu was uh, very much astonished are sanyasi ka prasad wife hai aisa kaisa <laughs> like no aisa hota hai you know shakta sanyasi ka aisa hota hai and that sanyasi had mentioned you know, there is you know let us take the ananda pan you know like blissful drink and that time nitinand pu told i have experience of all these things these people drink alcohol <laughs> so then mahapu told are like aisa aisa jagah pe kyu leke aa rahe <laughs> so turant ganga mein kood liye <laughs> so apne aap ko purify karne ke liye so now when this person told no we can take this blissful drink to pehle se code word pata tha <laughs> ki ye to alcohol hai no isse bachna hai so they told that no aage ja ke tum arrangement karo hum aa rahe hain no aisa bol ke no idhar se bhag gaye <laughs> so then um, <coughs> so like uh, after uh, liberating that person you no know, just by chaitanya mahapu association they would get purified and then they passed by and they went to the village called ramuna so in chaitanya charitamrita we have a lot of nice description about uh, in ramuna so who is there in ramuna kirchor gopinath no gopinath ji is there so but chaitanya bhagavat just gives a little very very little brief that uh, you no know, the lord was so happy to see gopina and he danced in front of um, the lord and uh, you no know, all the devotees also like they dance very very nicely and um, you no know, like by seeing this even a cruel person cruel materialist you no know, whose heart is like hard a uh, very hard like a uh, iron you no know, even his heart will melt you no know, that's the uh, you know that's the way of past times of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so then after a few days 
no they traveled a little more and they came to a village called yajapura and uh, there they went to a temple called adivaraha temple no after seeing this temple like uh, after seeing this deity no they were all very very pleased so and it is mentioned that one who sees the deity so they will be freed from the material entanglement so the temple was situated on the bank of uh, river vaitarni no and seeing that rivers no just by seeing the river no one gets cleansed of all the sins and it is mentioned when the devatas when they see no even an animal crossing that river no they would see that the animal has immediately got the 400 form no and uh, no it is it has got the uh, like form of the vaikuntha vasi no that's the uh, this one that's the glory of this river and um, nilachal jagannath puri is exactly 80 miles from this place and um, no it is also called as nabi gaya or uh, viraja kshetra so and um, it is the abode of viraja devi no and there are many many temples like so many temples are there in that spot like it's a very very holy place and upon arriving at that place you no know, all of them they took bath in that place and there is a place called dashashwamedha ghat so everybody took bath and then they all went to uh, adivaraha temple and uh, again a very wonderful kirtan started so like kirtan started and everybody were dancing and chanting and the kirtan went to very you no know, top level of heights and after some time they saw like mahaprabhu was missing from the kirtan no like mahaprabhu abhi bhi dance kar rahe the suddenly vanish ho gaye so and all the devotees they were like so much disturbed and they were searching you no know, nook and corner of the temple he is not there they are searching you no know, all the place you no know, around in and around so mahaprabhu is not there and after some time nitananda prabhu is telling you see mahaprabhu wanted to take darshan of all the holy places in this place but he wanted to go alone no so that's why he vanished so let's all go and do some madukari do some begging no we will collect some arms cook prasad eat nicely and sleep here no so next day morning like mahaprabhu will come right so they would uh, so in that way like they all you know retired for the day uh, basically there is no sleep in their schedule so that is <laughs> oh schedule both difficult to follow karna so they all uh, you know chanted and danced you no know, throughout the day and night and like the next day the lord actually returned and uh, so they became very happy and again they went out and you no know, collected some arms and uh, so chaitanya mahaprabhu uh, you no know, came back and you no know, they all had nice jubilation again so then after a few days shri chaitanya mahaprabhu arrived at a place called katak you no know, katak city and there he went to river mahanadi and uh, he took his bath and katak mein kaun hai ha huh? okay which dt is there sakshi gopal no so at the time at least no ha huh? now it shifted so like you know they uh, so they went they went to sakshi gopal dt you know they took darshan and uh, um they were greatly enchapt you know enraptured you no know, seeing the dt and chaitanya mahapu was feeling a great deal of ecstasy by seeing the dt and uh, <clears throat> so they were all chanting the maha mantra and you no know, uh, so they saw the divine form of the dt as non different from the supreme lord himself and um, um so then slowly they went from that place and they reached bhuvaneshwar you no know? hum log seedha flight mein bhuvaneshwar pahunch jate hain <laughs> so like you no know, they all reached after many many days you no know, from bengal to you know puri like it took many many days you no know? so uh, the city is actually called as the hidden kashi or gupta kashi so lord shiva had collected you no know, drops of uh, holy waters from all the holy places and then he had made a sarovar called bindu sarovar and shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he actually knew this significance of this lake and then you no know, he know that it is very dear to lord shiva and there is also the shiva linga which is there you know which is next to uh, this bindu sarovar so like chaitanya mahaprabhu happily went there he took bath and then you know he uh, Uh, took darshan of this deity and then started chanting and dancing so like uh, there is also chaitanya bhagavat gives a little bit of history of how this bhuvaneshwar actually came into existence so we will just uh, quickly have a uh, brief about that 
so in uh, krishna leela no kashiraj no he actually attacks um, like uh, what is it dwaraka right what is the name of kashiraj no no shalva no who performed tapasya who got so much of powers no from lord shiva and then uh, he started attacking so just check the name who is that so like um, uh, so he no here just it is given as kashiraj like uh, he performed lot of tapasya no to uh, destroy lord krishna i know so like you no know, he worship lord shiva and lord shiva was pleased with the worship of kashiraj and then he appeared and he gave a boon to him that no you go forward in the battle and me and my followers all of us will be backing you no so like uh, so lord shiva told like no i have my pashupat astra nobody can stand in front of it so you go front no and then this guy like no he went in the front and he declared war no in dwaraka and uh, no krishna like he was uh, he was knowing the situation and then he sent his sudarshan chakra and he cut the head of kashiraj no <laughs> and he threw it no far distance so and then um, all the soldiers of lord shiva also fought and you know sudarshan chakra you no know, finished all of them and then lord shiva sent pashupat astra and sudarshan chakra burnt that and then you no know, it started chasing lord shiva so then finally lord shiva took shelter of you no know, krishna and then he offered his prayers and then lord krishna was so angry that you no know, you don't know the power of my sudarshan like no weapon in this whole creation can stand in front of it but still you dare to you no know, send your weapon so why did you do this so then lord shiva no lord krishna no pacified and uh, lord shiva also like pacifies with lot of wonderful prayers and uh, so then he uh, tells that now that you have burnt my kashi you know where will i live so then um, this one um, what is that uh, lord krishna actually says you are my dear devotee you no know, always you are very dear to my heart so in fact lord shiva tells that see i am your devotee i will never do like this no aapne aisa mohit kar diya ki like no main aapke sath jhagda kiya so then bhagwan bola theek hai theek hai itna secret mat bolo so tum ka acha sthan dunga le rehne ke liye so and uh, so like uh, no krishna is describing the glory of this place no first of all he describes the glory of jagannath puri no there is a place this shankashetra so this is so amazing a place the supreme lord eternally resides this reside in this place and it is so amazing a place that uh, uh, even in during the pralaya you no know, this place is never got destroyed so just on the northern side of this place is there is a vana called ekamra vana so which is the current bhuvaneshwar so that place is uh, you no know, very amazing place you no know, very pleasing atmosphere and uh, even um, like uh, you uh, know everybody would like to you know live in that place and also he continues the glories of purushottam kshetra which is little bit bewildering actually you no know, purushottam kshetra this jagannath puri you no know, is is glorifying jagannath puri also krishna is glorifying jagannath puri he is telling purushottam kshetra is spread over 80 square miles within this area all living entities possess four handed forms you no know, aapka bhi hoga like check karke dekhiye like the two other hands have come or not <laughs> so all living entities have four handed forms no though this is visible only to the demigods and their equals the demigods glorify this place as most auspicious of all places of pilgrimage um, here if somebody sleeps no they get the benefit of offering uh, what is that uh, no they, they get the benefit of being in deep trance meditating on the supreme lord no <laughs> sleeping in this place has that this one and then samadhi and uh, la, what is that uh, simply taking a lying posture you no know, he gets the benefit of offering obeisances and simply wa- by walking in this place one gets the benefit of doing pradakshina and here whatever anybody will speak it is considered to be glorification of the supreme lord and then next is a bouncer it's very very difficult to understand here even if one eats fish he is considered to be eating havishya you no know, that is like uh, what is that no egya shishta no it is like uh, sanctified food uh, so in one lecture i heard this is all for non devotees no those who have understood the krishna conscious philosophy no for them this is all sinful no for non devotees like 
people who don't know anything for them this benefit is there you know people who knows like for them they will go to hell if they do that <laughs> so mm. so then uh, okay uh, it no krishna is mentioning this place is outside the jurisdiction of emaraj no emaraj doesn't have his uh, jurisdiction here so it is completely judged by the supreme lord himself this place and then you no know, like uh, he glorifies bhuvaneshwar little bit and he glorifies jagannath puri a lot and then he tells okay this beautiful this wonderful place jagannath puri just next to that bhuvaneshwar is there you go and stay there and lord shiva is telling are itna glorify kiya jagannath puri ko andar kuch sthan de dijiye mujhe <laughs> so but then you no know, like uh, um, lord krishna is telling that this place is uh, the place from where you will stay and you will protect this dam so you please stay there and uh, you no know, you will always be in, uh, in my association so in this way lord shiva was given this wonderful place of bhuvaneshwar and um, in order to teach that lord shiva is very dear to lord krishna so and lord lord uh, chaitanya he went to the temple of lord shiva in bhuvaneshwar and then he danced and chanted very wonderfully right so then when he left bhuvaneshwar he was feeling very 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 you no know, elated you no know, that he is going towards jagannath puri and in that way like he came to a village called kamalapura you no know? so like from that village no nowadays like it is so much of buildings and so much of development has happened we call it development but actually it is degradation you no know? so like uh, it was things were highly developed you no know, during that time so you no know, from the place called kamalapura so that jagannath temple's flag start you no know, started becoming visible so the moment shri chaitanya mahapu see the fluttering flag immediately he became so much ecstatic and he started crying out you no know, like the names of jagannath and then he started uh, you no know, feeling shivering and he became sluggish and uh, his eyes became fixed on the temple you no know? and uh, like uh, you no know, he stumbled and then you no know, he would uh, stand up and then he would see the temple and then he would recite a verse the verse uh, english translation is mentioned here just see the cowherd boy krishna is shyly smiling at the top of the temple upon seeing me <clears throat> thus uh, thus increasing the extraordinary beauty of his face right so this shloka this in the mood of shrimati radharani no chaitanya mahapu is chanting this shloka see that boy krishna in the top of the temple no like when he is seeing the top of the temple he is actually seeing no like cowherd boy krishna and then seeing that no mahaprabhu would uh, glorify him and then he would fall and then again he would get up he would glorify and he would fall so from this kamalapura it is mentioned uh, like uh, jagannath puri is just one and a half hours walk no like uh, no not one and a half hours walk no th- he would do this no he would constantly like do this thing and then um, no he would uh, uh, great difficulty no he would move a little distance so instead of walking no he fell down to the ground like a stick stood up and then no he saw the temple no shikar again and then he would fall down again and everybody around no they all see saw shri chaitanya mahapu and they became very very astonished no like they saw that uh, no this is not at all a human being no he must be the supreme lord narayana himself and um, no the devotees also moved along with shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and then like it is mentioned that um, uh, the distance from kamalapura to a place called ataranala no ataranala is like 18 uh, what is that uh, huh it's a bridge with 18 uh, what is that pillars or no chambers or something like that so that is the entrance point of jagannath puri uh, so like from kamalapura to this ataranala it is uh, one and a half hours walking distance but chaitanya mahapur took how much time so however lord required 9 hours to cross that place you no know? and then when he came to ataranala so he told that uh, you no know, let us you no know, he sat down and he told to his devotees you see let us uh, you know make a this one so you all i am very very grateful to all of you, you no know, all of you have somehow or other brought me to this jagannath puri so like my life you no know, it is almost like you people have given me life so i am very very happy with you so but now like uh, no again the same deal no 
either you should go friend i will come later or i should go friend you should come later so what should we do so always devotees choose no lord you go friend no kyunki kuch hua ho gaya to like no they can go and take care no so if devotees go friend then kuch ho gaya bhagwan ka so like no how will they serve the lord right so they were in that kind of mood and the moment chaitanya mahaprabhu was told you can go friend immediately like no it was almost like a, a lightning speed so he just vanished from that place he just quickly you no know, ran from that place entered into jagannath temple and entered into the like uh, the uh, this one main altar and then the moment he you no know, like uh, came in front of lord jagannath so he felt so much of ecstasy like uh, you no know, just thinking about coming to jagannath puri so much of, he was going mad so now he is directly in front of lord jagannath you now what will happen so immediately he thought you no know, he should go and embrace lord jagannath and he you no know, jumped the part jumped you no know, from from the like uh, from the place and you no know, half way through you no know, he was he became unconscious and he fell to the ground like you no know, very very crashing way like you no know, he fell to the ground and uh, you no know, so many times so many sahajiyas come and do this kind of natak you no know? and in jagannath temple there were you no know, uh, the like guards were kept only to you no know, beat these people you no know, ek bar do char you no know, uh, like maar ka hai to like you no know, unka sara ecstasy utar jata hai <laughs> so in that way these guards were about to beat but then sarobham bhattacharya the chief priest of jagannath temple so he was there and he was also taking darshan and he could understand this is not an ordinary thing you no know, this person is not an ordinary person immediately he went and stopped the guards from beating him and then sarobham bhattacharya like he was sitting next to him and seeing like you know he kab you know this one from the uh, trance when he will come out of the trance so then uh, you no know, he was not at all coming out so then um, like you know he decided you no know, the lord should be carried to his home and uh, you know all the pandas like the pandas who actually carry lord jagannath so they were called and you no know, they were you no know, asked to carry chaitanya mahaprabhu and uh, you no know, when they came out like streams of local people you no know, they actually came and they saw this and uh, you no know, all of them were so ecstatic to see you no know, such a wonderful form and you no know, just by seeing him just by coming in contact with him everybody started chanting and it is like everybody wanted to carry lord lord chaitanya so it is mentioned that just like ants you no know, they make a line and they pass on the food stuff you no know? like one ant will pass to another ant and another ant and things like that like that they made a human chain and they passed the body of lord chaitanya you no know, from one hand to another and by the time the devotees also arrived you no know, and the devotees saw you no know, like they were uh, happy to see their lord again so but then uh, the lord was in an un- unconscious state so like uh, you know sarobham bhattacharya was an expert and he told that okay this is not nothing has happened to him you no know, he is in an unconscious state he will come back to the consciousness in some time and devotees to pata hai like no unko ye to roz ki kahani hai so then uh, he told to the devotees that okay you people did not take darshan of lord jagannath so i will arrange some guide you people go inside and take darshan and the guide who was arranged he told you no know, he was very hesitant to take the devotees and you know he told to the devotees they go like no aapka pehle aapko guru aaye the no aisa mat kijiyega like no to bahut bahut difficult ho gaya andar sambhalna like you know he saw the he saw the lord and he crashed no aisa crash hua ki like no koi aur aisa gira to like mar jayenge no like uh, he fell down like that so you people don't do like this no please keep your composure behave normally no no aisa karenge to like no boliye like main leke jata hu nahi to nahi leke jaunga so then devotees all started laughing no they told like no we will behave normally don't worry like <laughs> no aisa karke no they all went and after seeing lord jagannath no they offered wonderful prayers and the pujari gave no the prasadam garland to all the devotees and they all felt very great happiness and they all uh, were uh, you know very happy to take darshan of the lord so then after that you know they came back to sarobham bhattacharya's house and still the lord is in unconscious state so the devotees started chanting the names of krishna and after some time slowly gradually the lord came back to consciousness it took 9 hours you no know, for the lord to come back to consciousness and uh, like the first thing lord chaitanya asks is no kya hua main to jagannath ke samne hua tha no samne tha like abhi idhar pada hu 
like you know what happened to me so then devotee told no you went into the jagannath temple you saw the deity and then you fell unconscious and you know like some or other by krishna's grace sarupam bhattacharya was there he took care of you he took him to your home you are there in his home you see like you no know, he is offering obeisances to you and uh, you no know, like uh, so then immediately lord chaitanya told i am very grateful to sarupam like you know i wanted like uh, krishna see krishna how merciful he is i wanted to meet this sarupam bhattacharya here and you no know, krishna made this meeting so easy and then the lord told you see like you hear my version what happened and lord is telling that i went inside you no know, i saw lord jagannath and then immediately i wanted to embrace him so i went forward uske baad kya hua kuch pata nahi <laughs> so like that and then you no know, he is telling that you no know, i would have jumped and went and embraced lord jagannath so but somehow or other you know that uh, no that disaster did not happen so like uh, you no know, all of you protected me and then he is telling that from today on i will never enter the you no know, i will never glo- go close to the jagannath deity so i will always stand next to the garuda stambha and from there only i'll take darshan you no know? so this is out of fear of you no know, his uh, ecstatic emotion so if you see like from garuda stambha if you see what will you uh, what will you be able to see inside the altar Huh? Uh, only one eyes of Jagannath, you know? Like Ch- Ch- Chaitanya Mahapu, never there is a description of seeing Baladeva and Subhadra. <laughs> no, he is only seeing Jagannath, you know? Because, uh, you know, like Chaitanya Mahapu is in the mood of Srimati Radharani. So Radharani and Krishna always meet secretly, you know? And then when, like, uh, Krishna's relatives are there next to Krishna, it is, see, lover and beloved, so when they see each other if their relatives are there next to them they will not like that you know so in that way like uh, you see that this whole thing is made in such a way it evokes the mood of separation you know for both jagannath and for uh, shri chaitanya mahaprabhu it is mentioned that when jagannath and chaitanya mahaprabhu milan you know whenever it happens it is such a very great force it is like two opposite poles you no know, meeting together you no know, so a great attraction is actually happening between them and uh, you no know, this guide is also was telling that you know uh, as a cheez ko dekhke you no know, how did jagannath stay in his altar that is a mystery you no know, i thought jagannath also will come down you know? <laughs> so in that way like you people don't do like this you no know, like that he was mentioning but anyways you no know, chaitanya mahapu was mentioning all these things and then nitananda mahapu told you no know, okay like you know things somehow amicably everything was was got settled now we'll let's go take bath and let's have prasadam and then again you know when uh, shri chaitanya mahapu took bath and sat for accepting prasadam so all the devotees like you no know, he made the statement that you no know, you just give me some boiled vegetable and all of you take all the feast you no know, preparations so because as a sanyasi you no know, chaitanya mahapu was always having uh, you no know, uh, displaying the highest levels of renunciation and uh, he was his only treasure was you no know, thinking about lord you know taking darshan of the lord and chanting his names and you no know, dancing in ecstasy so this is his you no know, food and uh, the mahaprasad only for a matter of uh, honoring the mahaprasad he would take a little bit right so it is so amazing you no know, these things and this uh, sarobham bhattacharya you no know, it is glorified that he is also not an ordinary person until unless he is an eternal associate of lord chaitanya he would have not got such an opportunity to serve the supreme lord and he got you no know, the rice on a golden plate and then he fed uh, shri chaitanya mahaprabhu with wonderful uh, you no know, prasadam and then after the meal the devotees all sat around and uh, so anyone who hears this transcendental pastimes with devotion will indeed be blessed with direct association of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and if if anyone hears the narration of antyakanda that how lord chaitanya came to nilachal they will certainly swim in an ocean of devotional love no so this is the you no know, this one it is shri chaitanya and nitananda are my life and soul i vrindavan das humbly offer this song at their lotus feet so this is how this chapter comes to an end so any questions comments or anything like devotees can ask few minutes are there yes ma'am yes
yeah contradictory past tense you know so like um, here we see that uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu did not give an exclusive audience or something like that so he was on the way you no know, in that way like you no know, he was meeting everybody so prataprudra maharaj wanted an exclusive audience of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu so which was uh, you no know, mahaprabhu was telling that uh, to meet a materialistic person you no know, it's as good as committing suicide you no know, like that so mahaprabhu would not give that kind of an audience you no know, to anybody and um, you know anybody who's not a devotee of the lord so but then here we see that by the time you no know, he saw mahaprabhu you no know, he was already falling flat you no know, offering obeisances and things like that and then wo samne aa gaya you no know? abhi like you no know, mahaprabhu is telling like who are you and then he is telling that you no know, i am the this one land owner and things like that ek baar samne aa gaya to like abhi kya kar sakte hai you no know? to abhi aa gaya to like mercy le lo <laughs> so that's what you no know, prataprudra maharaj also that's the same scenario that was made right so mahaprabhu will never get and never give an permission for this audience so when he is lying down in the garden which garden jagannath vallabh garden so at the time you go and sing nice glories of the supreme lord and anybody who sings this glories you no know, chaitanya mahaprabhu will immediately embrace you no know? and in this way like you no know, you will be accepted so there was one danger one one time one danger was there so in the night the the servants of lord jagannath the female servants of lord jagannath devdasis so they were singing very wonderful geet govind no mahaprabhu heard that geet govind and then he started running no like in that direction and the servant of mahaprabhu he was in horrified state because so mahaprabhu goes and then he finds no these are all female who are there he is a no sanyas shiromani like if he sees that he is in proximity of like like some women no considering that is a banga of his sanyas ashram he would immediately give up his life to ye to like bahut bhayankar cheez hone wala hai so then govinda will run behind him and then uh, he will say like mahaprabhu please stop please stop and then he would not stop and suddenly like no he will utter the word no there no nari hai like no women are there so then immediately mahaprabhu will stop and then he would say that no you saved my life you no know, for a renunciant even to touch a doll of women you no know, through the like what is that uh, uh, the fingers of the feet you no know, through that kind of a contact even that is considered to be like consuming poison you no know, like one should not even think of association of women so like uh, that is the state that you know like sometimes mahaprabhu uh, if he is there like uh, in proximity to somebody so he may just deliver his mercy right so but then it is not uh, an appointed invitation or appointed uh, this one aisa nahi ho sakta so like raja ko milne jayenge no aisa nahi ho sakta aa gaya samne to mil lenge no like that so in that way hari krishna any other questions or comments anything that you liked in this journey no journey to jagannath puri so devotees can share <coughs> it is definitely not like our journey <laughs> it is very intense journey so the schedule of like purified no just by his glance people got purified hey whatever you are speaking i am not able to hear clearly whatever i am speaking it's is it okay huh okay yeah so this is an amazing thing that uh, how to expand preaching you no know, we will see in the last day also we will discuss about it a little bit so in order to expand the preaching unlimitedly if we can chant nicely and if we can feel the presence of the lord you no know, in the chanting
so then that is the best formula for preaching you know like it can defeat all the techniques you know <laughs> so simply like how prabhupad you know he also went to some park sat and chanted you know anybody saw like they become full time devotee that's all <laughs> not even like you know i will start chanting or something like that you know they just simply dedicated their life you know that's the method of preaching and we see you know from this we can understand how powerful and empowered shri shila prabhupad was like same past times what chaitanya mahapu performed literally like no no shila prabhupad actually demonstrated so this is the power of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and power of chaitanya mahapu's associates just by seeing his chanting no people were becoming devotees just by seeing shila prabhupad's chanting people were giving up no intoxication and uh, no things like that and they were coming and you know surrendering to shila prabhupad no so that's the power of the acharya like this Like by seeing the deity, they can get rid of material entanglement. Huh. Yeah, by seeing Adivaraha deity, no, one will get freed from material entanglement. Yes, please. Yes, please. So he can supply anything, any, anywhere. No, the Supreme Lord is supremely powerful. Right? So, those of you who have got some faith in this statement, you know, you all can join us. <laughs> <laughs> ठीक है श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु की जय श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु अराइविंग एट जगन्नाथपुरी की जय शील प्रभुपाद की जय हरे कृष्ण